All right, quick build update and some thoughts on the Scorching Ray Occultist build that I played during Bestiary League, what it'll look like going into the 3.3 Incursion League patch. So first things first on the build, uh, if anybody watching this has not seen the build before, I'll do a little map play after I explain some basic things. But essentially it's a super tanky occultist build with a focus on boss killing. You can map with it just fine, it's just not super fast. But the big thing about it going into the next patch is it was built around and using the Phenomous Shroud body armor, which is a bestiary unique and as far as we know... You will not be able to get this at all next league, seeing as Bestiary is being removed from the game entirely. So this is just kind of my thoughts on what to do with the build going forward into the next patch and other options you have. Because it is a very powerful build, I was able to basically solo Uber Elder with the build, and it went rather smooth for a first try and with some tweaks it could go even better. But yeah, first things first, you need a new body armor. You do have the option of using something like a Shavs and going low life. The problem with that that I see is the gem space available. I don't know where you would fit in the new gems, your blood magic auras and whatnot. So I'm kind of thinking to just keep it as a CI build and just use other options for your body armor. And then additionally, there is a new unique shield that has been previewed from the Incursion League that synergizes specifically with CI. It turns your bleeds into chaos damage, so CI makes you basically bleed immune. It gives a very generous amount of faster start of ES recharge, which synergizes with Occultus specifically, and then it has... A little bit of a bonus with some max res if you get poisoned, which is just kind of nice on the end. But the big things are the permanent bleed immunity and faster ES recharge. So that is definitely something to look at for your shields. You'll lose some damage if you can get a shield that has fire or spell damage switching to it since it doesn't have any sort of damage modifiers for you. But it'll be super powerful defensively. And then for the body armor, I think you're going to want to look at something like possibly an incandescent heart if you want to be just even tankier. It'll give you 25% reduced damage taken from elemental since it converts it into chaos, which you're already immune to. That's an easy option. It's another DPS downgrade though, so just keep that in mind over the current body armor. Alternatively, you could use a Shaper Body Armor if you can roll a good one with plus one to gems and a decent amount of energy shield. And then maybe there will be something new, some sort of new unique body armor to play around with. We'll have to see what shows up. But considering all these changes are effectively losing you DPS but gaining you defense, you don't really want to be down in damage, so I think the way to counter that is going to be the new Chance to Ignite support, which is being renamed Combustion. And getting a Fire Res debuff, you can just link that up to your Orb of Storms for the tankier bosses when you're going to need something like that. Which I can show right here how you would go about doing that, I think. So right now... In the gem links, you have something like a discipline over here in your aura setup, and then you have a vault discipline over here in your cast and damage taken setup. You should be able to. It might require a little bit of aura investment on your tree, something like this reduced mana reserve node. But drop this discipline entirely and only run the vault discipline since it'll give you the base one. So that'll free up a gem. And then you could essentially have something like maybe your flame dash goes over here and you would link chance to ignite to say your flame golem so now you have a flame golem doing the combustion doing the fire res debuff for you while you're mapping and then on tankier bosses you could simply just swap that gem out with elemental weakness and put it into your orb of storms and now you have to self cast the elemental weakness but you'll be gaining the 
combustion effect even if you have a golem dead and not really helping you out there but those are my thoughts on the build i think it's going to be really powerful in the next league as a boss farmer and it may prove to be one of the better uber elder farmers for hardcore since it should be a lot cheaper than the righteous fire juggernaut build assuming that one doesn't also get nerfed and then the last I guess closing thought on it would be since you do lose aspect of the spider you kind of have some options on what you're going to do there if you invest in heavy or a reservation you could you could toss in a purity or I think realistically maybe you would just toss in something like a arctic armor so maybe that actually takes up the extra gem socket that you saved and then you would just have to either drop curse on hit entirely or maybe you switch arcane surge somewhere else to get your combustion support gem in for the fire as debuff but yeah that's my thoughts on the build kind of rambled on a bit but that was pretty much the plan of the video. Just kind of talk and see where it goes. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this kind of video where I kind of just talk about a build or my thoughts on something without any planning ahead because I just kind of... I started the recording and I started talking. And I think I covered most of the big points for it where the build can go and what it should be able to do next league. Yeah, let me know in the comments. If you have any thoughts on it, thanks guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.